in terms of like preparation, because I'd play that role for years and yeah, I almost know exactly what beat I'm going to play, especially when it comes to emotional scenes. Right. Funnily enough, I actually, for that scene you mentioned in the chapel, I um, learned the wrong scene. So I learned the first ever version, which was the read-through version, which you get months and months in advance. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when the script writers first kind of arc out the whole entire story for everyone, they put out all the read-through deaths. And then after a while, you get six, seven, you know, renewed versions. Salmons and pinks. And yeah, and salmons and pinks. Yeah. You know it. They all, they like, like make them like weird um, names. Color like golden. Run. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the blue pages. It's honestly, it's yeah. bonkers, isn't it? And then you get an email it's going, so it's the salmon pages. I just learned the blues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so like with that, I didn't know which one to reference and I just had the read-through draft as a printout copy, completely forgot it said read-through draft on it. So I knew that this big scene was coming. I'd like lost my, you know, not to spoil anything, but like a you know, big loss in the family, yeah. like horrifically devastating. So I was like, I will learn this one way in advance because usually sometimes if it's just like a little court scene I might even learn it like two nights before right. not, not be like uber funny about it because otherwise I can get too I don't know yeah, hyped it, out or something oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. but with something like that especially if you have to be emotional you can't be thinking oh my god what's my line because you have to be so in, in your the body, world of that and, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. and letting it all out you know because that's the only thing you want to then be thinking about on the day so I learned this read through draft and I was like on it on it on it everyone was testing me I was like yes yes I'm so ready walked up to the thing and I was like and everyone was very quiet and very like respectful on a scene like that everyone's quite you know no one's look at you no one looks at you <laughs> so I'm, I certainly don't give a damn I'm like hey and everyone's looking at me like you should calm the fuck down because you're about to be crying your ass off and I'm like <laughs> Um, but yeah, walked up. Anyway, uh, it was amazing. Alexander Draymond, who plays Uhtred, and it dawned on me that day. It was the first time our two characters are ever alone together, not in the. And we're the like the OGs of the yeah. show, along with Breeder. Who wow. Um, so it was just me, him, and Emily from season one, like the absolute OGs of the show. And I was like, oh, we've never been in a room together because our characters notoriously like hate each other. Yeah. Um, a apart from within season four, there's sort of like redemption for Lady Elsa. Then they sort of connect a little bit, although I think he thinks she's a bit of a nutter, but like there's a bit <laughs> of forgiveness there. And anyway, by season five, they've both lost somebody that they both loved the most like the, yeah. the dearest so it's like the first ever like oh i know exactly how you feel because my heart's been ripped out just like yours Don't over the same person bridge, doesn't it? It builds a whole, it whole bridge. A bridge and it made her realize actually i need these people and i need him as much as i shunned him yeah. for years i need this this man and so it's such a stunning scene anyway he's there all respectful and loving he's one of the most extraordinary actors i've ever known in my life alexander draymond oh my gosh he could do anything that man and talking about emotional scenes he could do anything yeah. like he, he's just there isn't my he? heart he's just out. present oh, phenomenal and like the hardest working person doing all the fighting the horse riding the all the lines he has to learn i mean it's just non-stop so anyway he gets there uber professional he's like the right bloody draft i didn't even dawn on me what <laughs> that i like this read through draft so anyway we start just rehearsing the lines anyway and i'm going da -da 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 -da, what i'm saying you know and i hope he whatever like i hope god is listening whatever the heck i say and he's looking at me like and he starts going what like what are you talking about and I was like what do you mean he was like well that is not any of the lines that's written here and I was like what, what are you talking I've been learning this for weeks what, what do you mean so now I'm panicking and then the director comes over and goes yeah Eliza I'm not quite sure what you've learnt darling but um, uh, it's not this and <laughs> so you're going to have to really think about and, and if this is like a four page scene I'm like I can't learn this it was Nightmare. the last scene of the day we only had like an hour and a half to shoot it or something like that because there's only two people so it wasn't going to take long to shoot if we got it right but there's me now going oh, I, don't I don't know any of these words and I was freaking out because this is the one scene I I thought I have to yeah. nail it because yeah, yeah. to do justice for that character being lost and everything I was like and I nearly burst into tears right then and there my heart was like and I was like because I love that show more than anything I care about it so much like and I've done it for so many years so I was like as if I'm gonna fail now and all I did was work so hard on those other yeah. ones so anyway thank god the producer then came over and was like right you've obviously learned them to a T and he went, weirdly, I've just looked at that, that read-through draft, which is seven drafts too late, but that's why. I mean. And he's like, I actually weirdly prefer some of the lines. He's like, well, how about we compromise? Let's make a hybrid. And he was like, learn a few of them right now. And I was like, oh my God. And, every, and the thing is, and you know, Luke's with filming, there's about 100 people in the room watching you. Everyone's watching you. And it's just... Especially when there's just two other actors, it's just everyone's looking at you, me goldfish and Alex, bowl. and we were like a goldfish bowl, mm -hmm. and the time is money, so they're all thinking about you. Know, hope she learns them lines. Tired and stuff. Like, they're, not, yeah. they're not always as interested as you wish they were, sort of yeah. thing, you know what I mean? So, like, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and I just thought, oh my God, the pressure. So I learned, like, it was like sort of 10 new lines, which is a lot considering I had to be, I knew I had to cry on a few of the lines, like, I had to be technical about it. It's like, I'm going to cry here. I'm gonna, sometimes I don't know when it's going to happen, but other times I'll measure it. It's quite weird. Yeah. It makes me think, like, 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 I'm a 
sociopath or something. <laughs> but a cry right there on that word. No Psycho, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, with that, I, I, if anything, it just threw me into the sense of like, okay, you've just got to be listening to yourself because otherwise this is going to be a nightmare. And weirdly, I got through each take, but I was then go, like kicking myself going, effed up that word. And okay, so it was like not the easiest scene to film in that sense, even though I'd learned it to a T it was the hybrid version so, interesting. so when people say oh I love that scene I'm thinking oh, thank, god, it, thank god I sort of sold it for what it was because I honestly left that day and thought I've left that I was like I even like said to Millie I was like, I'm so sorry that scene where I'm like you know morning it's oh. just not yeah no but but um that sense of like oh I think I failed you too because because also we're such a family oh, in that amazing. show everyone cares about each other's scenes yeah. and like it, there are so many intense emotional scenes you know even all the, the Danes like they're my favorite stuff when you see all the Danes getting into theirs I'm like oh yeah. my god so you're so proud of each other and you don't want to be the one to let the, the side down even though yeah. no one does because no everyone just does the, the wickedest job I think in a way I like that we're pressuring each other not even each other ourselves like that because we care yeah so if you're hard on yourself you know that you care yeah. um so yeah that was just a weird one for that one scene the, with all the prep and all the yeah but that's so it, interesting it all went out the window for a second and then I just you know yeah but I, I almost wonder if that there's something to that because I, I found and maybe you relate to this like and maybe everyone listening relates to this in some way in their own like line of work that when like well maybe performance is a bit different but like when I feel completely out of control yeah. is usually when the best stuff happens yeah because I am i can't get my way anymore because this is happening for real and it's happening now mm -hmm. and it's like I, I wonder if that's somewhat what, what is so palpable in that scene is that the energy is so like this is happening right now like it, it, it brings you to like I remember like sat closer to the screen when that's happening I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so it's, sweet but honestly it's, it's so that's so fascinating it is it's crazy and I love those kinds of stories where you think okay what is happening behind the scenes yeah. how was that actor what were they actually thinking about during that thing and I was just thinking don't forget your line don't forget your line and it's true it was then more raw because when like my eyes are shifting I genuinely don't know what I'm going to say next I don't know Yeah. because obviously as yeah. an actor when you're performing a naturalistic scene you want it to look like you don't know what you're saying next because we don't as humans know quite yeah. what we're going to say next we look around and we gather our thoughts you don't want to look too like you know it but yeah, I yeah. really didn't know what the <laughs> was like, oh, God something or other and somebody's died I, I just like it was crazy but neither she, I guess that's also because neither does she though right like she's mm. that, that might be the first time in, in her life she's really starting to like yeah. vocalise her faith in like yes. why isn't God listening like yeah. she's praying and praying and praying for her daughter to survive absolutely and it doesn't happen absolutely and she's left at wit's end yeah and I, so maybe that it's, it's so funny how that those things um, she steps out of duty mm. yes That's what it, and the vulnerability comes out yes, too cause for such a stoic figure yeah. someone who's had to hold their own and mm. be so fierce and someone to be like revered but also to be feared as well like people look up her, at her and think okay I'm not going to mess with that kind of thing and there she is on her knees broken holding the hand of the guy she used to think was the you know her worst enemy yeah. is now like the only form of support she can even you know rely yeah. on and so nice to see the vulnerability but then also the question of hold on I've been so stoic for you for so long and now mm, at my most time of need yes. where are you and every been, yeah. everything's been taken from me I really have nothing left and now you want me to carry on how can I serve somebody that doesn't you know so it's so interesting and you know I, I find faith so interesting and amazing so to, to have written that within the script was so cool of them because obviously back then religion really was it you know that's all people knew and you know the church was everything not to get all into religion but it was so fascinating that at the time it really ran with the monarchy and so everything was like the royal family and yeah it's just a, so fascinating but they did a beautiful job at even depicting like the the Danes and their religion because they believe yes. in the yeah, gods like Thor and Odin yeah sure. and I love that there's that beautiful balance of both of those things and how how are they against each other sometimes but actually by the end how do they intertwine how do they help one another yeah. and it's true because that really happened where um, a lot of like Danish lords even um, said okay we'll compromise and we'll settle here if we don't da, 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 da. and so in a way they were able to respect one another's faith and carry on as normal and that's how then the kind of the rest of England was created <laughs>